This is Dr. Daniel Paul, orthopedic surgeon with Easy Orthopedics, and today we're going to talk about what happens if you don't get treated for your broken hand. If you like this video, we put out new content weekly, so please like and subscribe. So if you break your hand here, and you know this may sound silly, but differentiating the finger, these three bones from the hand, basically the metacarpals, um, that's what we're talking about is the metacarpals. If you end up breaking a phalanx or there, that's a previous video I have about what happens if you don't get your finger fracture treated. But if you don't get your hand fracture treated, it's usually not quite as severe as the finger fracture. It just depends on how bad it is. The most common injury is people end up punching a wall and they hit a stud or they're trying to beat somebody up and they punch them in the head and they hit with this knuckle here. And these first two knuckles don't move that much. So when you punch something, it's stable and it goes down the arm. When you hit with these knuckles, it moves more and it'll actually cause this bone to break right in under the pinky. And that's called a boxer's fracture. So depending on how bad they are, there's a lot of, um, a lot of those can heal fine with just splinting and casting. Um, uh, if it's really bad, you end up doing surgery. Certainly, if you break multiple metacarpals, then, then surgery is indicated, or you know, you break it and the bones twist and your fingers are coming down all weird, then surgery. But for the most part, if you break it and you don't really notice any deformity in your hand and you're able to sort of make a fist, then it's okay. Likely, you might be able, if you don't treat it, you likely will do often do pretty well. But if you break your hand and your fingers are twisted and you can't bend it or there's a big bump, it'll heal so it might not hurt as much, but you might always have a bump. You may lose your knuckle so you can't really see it. You might hurt a little bit when you grip. So that's usually what happens if you, if you don't get one of your hand fractures treated. So again, if you don't notice any deformity or anything, it might be you might end up being fine. If you do notice that uh, you know it's swollen and your knuckle's gone and your finger's shortened, it's probably, that's probably not gonna get better. It'll always be like that, although it might hurt less over time. Um, certainly, you know, if you have any nerve injury, that's a different story. That's more with kind of like cuts, like if someone stabbed you and you blocked it or something like that. They're different sort of injury we're talking about. We're talking about just kind of closed fractures. So I hope I was able to answer your questions about what happens if you don't get your hand, broken hand treated. If you have any questions I uh, didn't answer, feel free to leave them in the comments below and I'll do my best to respond. But I can't give you medical advice about your specific condition. If you like this video, we put out new content weekly, so please like and subscribe and thanks for watching.